Good morning, traders. Welcome to the weekly webinar. Uh, for my YouTube viewers, I'm sorry, last week I couldn't do it because I was sick. I had a virus. I don't know what it was. I didn't test it, so don't ask me what virus that was. I have no idea. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're on YouTube and you like what I do and you follow what I do, if you, you, can, should, you should come and follow me on Shared Vision. Sharedvision.com. You will find our channel at the top here. Please follow and make sure you set the notification so you get a notification every time I post something here. What I'm going to do for this week and maybe the week after that is I'll be posting a lot of live session here. I'll go live here and post very short videos like five minutes videos or three minute videos. What that would be is a trade setup. So if I see a trade setup on a specific pair or a specific crypto or something that I think is interested and I think it's a nice trade that if you're trading it, it's worth taking. As a setup, it's worth. What I would do is I'll come here and show you the setup, explain it to you, and I'll post it. So if you like what I do and you would like to have those, set it up to get the notification and you'll get it, right? Follow up on those videos will be in the comment, which means in the comment section, I would be posting the follow up as to what happens to it, what we would do with it. You know, like whether it's closed, whether it's still active, whether the, the, the stops were moved, right? All of that will be posted. So you would have a very clear idea what to do. Of course, you have a choice. This, this, this is not a trade call. You will make your own call whether you want to take the trade and whether you, you know, what you would do with it individually. For those of you who might, you know, there still might be one or two of those trolls around. Please don't waste your time. If you don't like what I do, don't come here and try to comment because you will be banned permanently. I think the good thing about this site is that they give you that option, right? I think if you go to dashboard, you would see it's a ban list. That means you permanently be banned from seeing my channel. So keep it clean, keep it respectful. Thank you. I'll take this off from here. Is the girls there? That's just to make sure the trolls don't waste their time. Anyway, let's go. So I'll start today's uh, recording. We're looking at the webinar, sorry. We're looking at the dollar index. It's still in consolidation. So last week we looked at it and we had this impulse and everything that happens in here was still consolidated. So I showed you a number of options of how it could develop, right? What we think it should do. And by all means, we are always expecting them to break the low. So far we haven't broken the low and we're still consolidating within this range. So two things can happen right now. One is that it's over, which means we can look at this as a possible contracting flat. One, two, three, and this is gonna go, right? That's a contracting flat option. The second option is that this goes up maybe a little more, come back, break the low, and then go. We're almost confirming the upside in it because this correction at the top of a move like this is actually confirming one more impulse up. So your question, I think most people would ask, is how far would that go? How high do you expect it to go? Remember, we're still trying to come and break this top. That's the idea, go break that top. But it doesn't mean that this is the move that will go and break that top. This move could just come and break this top here and then come right back to the bottom before we go, which means we'll be looking at this as a running flat. See? So there are numerous possibilities of how the structure will develop as it goes. But that doesn't make a difference to you because if this thing only breaks the top, right? That's enough of a trade for you for the week, right? This, remember, we're coming to the year end and you might not get any big surprise, which means the market will literally stay where it is, where it is right? So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a flag. We go break this top, come back down here for the rest of the week and then start to go back up. By then the year would end, right? There will be no more trading this year. So we will still be back in square one by the end of the year. But can we trade this move up? And can we trade the moves down? And can we trade this up if all of that happens? Of course, each one of those are possible trade setups. So if this turned out to be a buy setup here today, it's consolidating, probably consolidate here some more. And if we get a setup like this, we'll be looking for a trade to break this top which means there might be one trade up, take the trade, put it to positive, move your stops onto positive, and then see if it's gonna to turn to come back down here. 
because it might continue to go if we look at it as a possible contracting flat. So the trade is a valid one if it's a contracting flat. If it's not a contracting flat, worst case is you'll get break even in the trade and we will go for the sell setup, right? We're still in the consolidation and that thing could take a while. So let's go. Silver, it did break the low as we expected. This move drop broke the low. So now with, with the low broken and we're looking at this entire big sideways pattern, right? this is a much bigger one than the dollar index. And this one is also consolidating at the top of this big move. This is more of a yearly pattern, right? So can this go down some more here before it comes back up? Absolutely. What I think would happen is that this would eventually come back to the top here, go back down there, and then come here. So we would be probably for the rest of this uh, next year still going sideways. These things are very big moves. They take very long to happen. Right? So go to the four hour. The question here now, now that we've broken that low, are we heading to the upside? If we're heading to the upside, we want a flag or a correction. And in this case, you want an impulse. You want an impulse. You want a correction here. And then you want the next move up. So we don't have a correction as yet. All we have is one pullback. That's not enough information to do anything, right? This is just one pullback. We want to see this correct here and drop again, maybe correct, drop again. And now you have a buy setup. Can we sell these shorter ones if we get them like this? Well, depends on your skill level and your ability to handle risk. You can do that as well. So can, the next question you would ask me, well, what if this just drops to the bottom? Is that possible? Maybe under one condition, if we're going to change this into an expanding flat. So how do you change it to an expanding flat? Well, if you go into the internals and you relook at these patterns, you might want to structure them slightly different. Remember, the patterns you see are not exactly the patterns that might be, which means they're, they're, they're time when those patterns could be more than one variation of what you see, right? So traders might look at it and say, well, I see this pattern in this part, this is how I see it, and that might be correct. It's not that it's wrong. It's just that somebody might look at some more parts of it and say, well, what if you connect these two and all the risk inside of that is the correction? And that could be correct too. So what you would look for is which one of those are correct. And you always, it's, it's always, well, if this, then what? So if it is this one, then I want to see this correct here and upside, right? But what if it is a big expanding flat? Then what I will see here is I'll see a correction here, not going back to the top, something at the bottom here. And if we see this, then we will go with the cell. So all depends on what happens here to confirm one out of the two variations. It consolidate back up here and start to do this. We're going up totally. It makes a small flag here. We go for the cell. So now we just have to wait to see which one of those two will confirm themselves. If you follow me in the shared vision, as one of those develop, I might post it there. So you would get a clearer vision of which one is developed and what we think it's going to do. Gold, pretty much the same thing. We were looking for a big running flat, if you remember, and it seems like we've got the running flat. But I'm looking, we remember when this happened, we were like, okay, this might come back here to make a running flat. And then we'll expect it to go back up there. Well, it seems like that is happening. And we, if we get a con consolidation here, that will confirm the upside. Break this top and come right back down. Because we'll be looking at this, and then we'll be looking at this. And right? we'll be looking at these two possibilities still to happen here before it goes down. So we're assuming that this is a big sideways move. And if, if it is correct so far for the way we are assuming, and a lot depends on how you look at this piece here. Whether you think this was the low, if this was the low, then we could go up totally. Or whether you think we're still going sideways. Both of those are possible. It doesn't, it's, it's not important at the moment. It will get important when we come to the top here, right? So as we come to the top there, we wanna see here what will happen. What I think will happen is that this will probably consolidate here somewhat, drop here, and then we get the buy setup. So the question, well, if it does, can you sell this? 
And again, well, it's a very small trade. If you have the ability to get in and get out before the trade turns to the upside, good for you. If not, wait for this flat to happen and then look for the buy setup. Can it actually drop much lower from where it is? Instead of going up, just drop to this level. Well, so far, I don't see that happening here because this is not making a flag already. This is climbing up very high. So because it's climbing high, it gets to the top, it comes back here, we'll definitely be looking for a buy. In any case, we're tracking it because this morning we're looking at whether we should sell it. And you notice I have a line there, which means that I'm thinking, well, if it drops right now, yes, it's a sell. But if it goes higher, it will no longer be a sell. So what you can do is put an entry order here. Don't worry about that. You can put an entry order here. If it's going to go higher, nothing will happen to this entry order, which means if this goes higher like this, by the time it gets here, you pull the entry order. If it drops from here, perfect, you're in a sell setup. So if you think it's going to be a flag, you put the entry order. Nothing wrong with that if it's going to be a flat, because a flat means it's going to go higher. It'll take about six to 10 hours to do that. And then you take off the entry order. You wait for the downside, and then you buy it. We're tracking gold and Aussie, because it's, it's, it has some very nice patterns in it in the daily. And we were tracking these patterns, and it seems like it's going to give us what we're looking for. So we're looking at this and we wanted this to go back up there and we, this might be a flat, which means if that proves a flat, if this is the complete flat, right, this could also be the complete flat, this will continue to go up. We're not interested in the buy, right? The buy is not that important at the moment, but if it comes back from there to this level, we are interested in this sell and then we will go for this buy before it finally drops. So that depends on when you look at the bigger structure, what you see. So in the bigger structure, this is what we think we're getting. We have an impulse and we're right now consolidating in here. And depending how this pattern develops, it should go back up one more and then we look for the drop. But all of those are trading because of the range, the size of those range, you can trade it both up and down. Right? So this was a sell, short sell turned out to be, we thought this is the one that's gonna drop. We're still in the sideways. Right, so you can probably expect this to come here. I don't think this is the one that will break the top because I'm not looking at this as the flat separate, which means one, two, three. And this go break a new high. If it does make a new high, we're not interested again in the buy. Once it turns, we start to look for the sell. So we'll either get this sell or we'll get it goes higher and then give us the bigger sell. No, no, no big deal. Whichever happens, we're gonna go. So we're looking for a sell setup on this one. Whichever happens from here, or go all the way to the top there and then give us a sell setup. Euro, Euro is still in the flat. We're still expecting, this one didn't break the top, right? We were expecting this to go, come back here, go break the top and then come down. It's coming down without breaking the top. So the question you would ask yourself, so let's take this out now. The question we would have to ask ourselves when that happens is that, okay, we're still in the consolidation. Is it just making a bigger consolidation? Which means, is this becoming a bigger consolidation in here, right? Which would go back up to the top, make a new high and then come down. Or is that a contracting flat, right? Is it a contracting flat? Which means this piece was the end of the structure here. You got a one, you got two, you got three, and we're dropping, right? If that's not the case, then we'll have to relook at this whole piece as the bigger correction. This entire piece here, take this off. This entire piece becomes a bigger correction and we go back up one more. This either go back from here or it comes break the low, go back up, make a new top and then drop. We're still going sideways for downside, right? So do we have a cell setup at the moment? You can go with a cell setup. If this makes a flag here and decide to drop, it's just going to drop beyond this level. And then it could go back up or it could continue to fall. So if we take this trade, if we get a setup here for a sell and we sell it, what we would look for is once it breaks this, you put it to break even. Because at that point, it would either go back up, make a new top and then drop. That would be a regular flat or it keeps falling and we will go with the contracting flat option. And this is the case where you really can't tell which one it is because of the number of, again, the number of possibilities of how you could look at the patterns inside here, right? You could easily put these two as one. Let's say one, two, three. That means you have one, two, three. 
you have one, two, three, you have to go back up there. In that case, you'll have to come back down, maybe even twice, come back down, go back up, come back down, go back up, and then drop, right? You can skip that one, and you can start by looking at this one here, right? Which means you're gonna look at this as a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that's it, it's over, we're going down. So like I said, there are many, many possibilities that you can develop in there because the number of waves you have inside smaller version of the waves, whether you're looking at contracting flats in there or not, it's irrelevant in terms of the bigger move you're looking for. So the bigger move we're looking for is a move coming down this way. If we get a flag here, we'll sell. If this turns out to be a flag or a flat, we will go with this cell. What if this is actually going back up? Well, we don't have a buy set up as yet. We probably could get one later today, but it's not available at the moment. At the moment, what I think could happen is that it might consolidate here and drop. So we'll have to wait for that. If that doesn't happen and it goes up, we'll have to wait for a flag here and then we can buy it back to the top, right? This goes up, make a flag here, and then you get your first buy to the upside. So we don't have a buy set up as yet at the moment. Um, that was a good cell setup for us because structurally we saw that and it's going really nice. Actually, this could drop. There's no reason why the pump can't drop lower right now. I don't think the pump is going to get more complicated. It's just going to drop. So most likely if you get another flag, you can sell. Right? If they make another flag here, it's a cell setup. Aussie. Aussie, we sold it there on Friday. We'll have to take that off. And now we have to look at also two different options. Let me show you the bigger picture. So the bigger picture is this. We're coming down as a correction against the bigger impulse that is going up, which is the daily up move. This is the daily up move. And we're correcting that. So if, you're, if you don't know wave analysis and you're a technical trader, you would hear something called head and shoulders, which is you look at the shoulder, you look at the head, and you're looking for another shoulder to go up which is what they're saying is that you will have an equal size correction like that here. It's not true, they're not always equal in size. And that is why head and shoulder doesn't happen every time you're getting a reversal or they're not equal in time, right? There's no need for that to happen. So sometimes they're equal, sometimes they're not. In this case, I don't think they have to be equal. So uh, the question is, can this stop here and go back up now? Right? Or can we just watch this, go right back up to the top and probably even break out? Or is it going to come down lower and then go? That's your only question. So you go into the four hour. And we thought that it, is go it was going to go up. If you were following me last week, my thought process was that this was going to go up. We actually bought this up because we thought this was going to go up there. And then it stopped and came them back. So here's a question now. Now that it's here, what, what's next? Can, could this be an expanding flat or a running flat for upside? Absolutely. If so, I want to see a turn and I want to see a flag here and we will buy. If we get a turn and a flag, we'll buy. But what if it is actually not that? What if this was a one, two, three, and we're dropping to make a new move? then that is even an easier thing, right? All you have to do is get a flag here and you sell. See, that is much easier than the first version. Go on the one or wait for either. So our sell was here because we thought that it could be either a running flat or it could drop totally. In that case, we sold it here last week. Now, if you're still in the trade, but if you're not in the trade and you probably close it over the weekend, wait for another flag here. If we get another flag here, we're selling. If it actually makes a sharp move up and then make a flag here, we're buying. So it doesn't matter which direction it goes. As long as you get the setup for the buyer, the setup for the sell, you take either of them, whichever comes first, right? New Zealand. New Zealand looks more downside, but not the chance that you want to sell it at the bottom here. And there's a good reason for not wanting to sell New Zealand at the bottom there. Because every time they come, they go back up. They come down, they go back up. They come down, the chances are they'll go back up. Either like this or like that. Corrective, right? So selling here might not be a great idea, even if you get a setup. We'll wait on this a little. 
So last week we saw this and we saw the Aussie coming down and the, cho the, the choice was let's sell the Aussie, let's skip this one. I still think we should skip this. And if we get a buy set up on it, we'll take it. If we get a buy set up on the Aussie, we'll take it. If we get a sell set up on the Aussie and a sell set up on the New Zealand, let's sell the Aussie. Skip the New Zealand. Can we're looking for an expanding flat or a running flat, sorry. And I think we've got it. I was expecting this to probably drop a little more than go, but then they took off, so no problem. This is a buy here this morning. There was a small flag there in the one hour. It's not really going the way we expected, but you can take the trade and you know just manage it. What are the chances to become a more complex pattern? And you may say, well, what do you mean if you just said that this could possibly be a running flat? What could be more complex than that? Well, this thing goes a little like that. Come back here, do this, come back here, do this, come back here. Go up like this, do this, and now you have this, right? All of this is a flat in the middle here. You get one, two, three, you get that flat and then it goes. Now that just, that just actually blow your mind, right? You're thinking, what the hell? I thought we had a simple one. Now we can get a complex one. It doesn't matter. Actually, in terms of trading, that is irrelevant. You will trade what you see at the moment and you would hope that it's a simple flat. If it turns and becomes a more complex one, you will eventually see that complex pattern and you will trade within the range. So if you're taking this trade, manage it to see whether it breaks the top and continue to go. If it doesn't go by rule, we will get out of the trade. We have rules that said, if it does not go in for a certain period of time, get the hell out of it, right? So yen, we're expecting yen to drop a little more. Big picture in the yen. If you remember when we were in this one here, and when we were in this one here, and when we were in this one here, I, I said we were going to go up because we were expecting it to come and break this stop. This stop here. I'd be expecting it to get to that top and break it. Well, it's pulling back, and that's okay. It never goes in a straight line, right? We know that. So the question here at this pullback is, are we making a deeper correction? Or are we just making a deeper, a bigger flat here? Right? If it's a bigger flat, then we're going from here. If it's a deeper correction, we could still go, end up going up, but this would be much of a deeper correction, which means it would take much longer. Right now, it looks like we've made a, an impulse, we've made a flat, we've made a correction, and we're coming down, but it's not really coming down with the way I expected, which means we're not dropping like that. Right? We're probably consolidating here again, and if they consolidate here, they'll probably come down like this, and then we can start to see this upside. Still possible. Is it going to be a good sell? Absolutely. We sold it many times and some went, some didn't go as well. So what we'll do is like we sold this one here. I remember selling this. That didn't go the way we expected. So you would close that trade and look for another sell setup. Let's see what happens here. I think we're making more of a flat here now. And then we might get a drop. So you might have some patience. We don't have any sell set up on it and we don't have any buy set up on it. There might be a short-term sell, but not a great idea against the sharp move. Right. So we have that sharp move. This one is coming down slowly. Let it go back up there, make a flat, and then we go for the sell. Swiss, also making a bigger flat, bigger correction. It's still in this bigger pad the pattern we showed you last week, if you were there. And we were expecting this to be a small correction, go there and then drop. And it turns out it's a much bigger one. We're probably going up and then we look for a sell setup. So it's going up at the moment, which means short term, there's a buy setup here. Maybe this one is gonna go up there, break the top and then start to drop. You may or may not wanna buy that. I don't think it's a good idea. They don't have to break the top. So buying it is not a great idea. Let it happen, let them go. And then we're gonna be looking for the sell. What if it starts to come down from here? Well, we don't have a sell setup as yet, but if we get the setup anytime before it breaks the low, we'll take the trade. Euros. We're still in this big sideways move and they're still going up again. So let's see if we get a buy setup here. Well, unless you want to take the risk of buying it above the top, I think we'd rather wait for a flag and then we'll take the trade to the upside. It looks more upside right now. You're okay. Still in the big sideways, and we're still going sideways, literally. We went up, we came down. 
We're going back up. Maybe break the top and then come back down here. There's a good chance we could go back up and then drop. This could be a bigger flat here, right? So I'm not looking for a buy here, but I'll be looking for a sell this week. Back to the bottom like this. Let's see if we get the sell set. Europam. Okay, I'm expecting it to come back down here, but they're not coming down the way we expected. We actually made a few sells in it, but they're not going the way we expected. So most of them were break even. I think this was the first one, starting with this one, turned out to be a break even. I think we sold this one here, assuming that was a running flat, or we sold here as well. And both, all of those would be break even trades. It's literally just going sideways. It could go back to retest the top, but I don't see that possibility right now. We'll have to wait. Let's just wait. We're going sideways with this, right? We're going sideways, but downwards like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they actually come back to the low here and then, you know, do a few more of that. So we'll wait and see. Euro Swiss. Okay, so my trader should be in the cell. It probably would have closed it this Friday afternoon. It didn't go as fast as you would like it to go. We saw this possibility here and that we're gonna make a new low. It will probably make a new low. I'll just let it go, make the new low. There's no sell set up here. You can put a sell here if you want, but it, it's not gonna give you a big move. I don't think we're gonna make a very big drop. You'll have to be careful. It might be a very short trade. Because what I'm expecting is that they have to break this low. Did we break the low by the way? Let's see. No, we haven't. So if it drops, break the low. Can it go back up to the top and you know just stay in the consolidation? Yeah, but well, we don't have a buy setup. What you have is a possibility for a sell setup. That is to break this low. How far they go after they break the low? Well, you know, I don't know. You can take the trade and see. We are at a weekly low, just so you know. Right? We're at a weekly low on this thing. We broke this low already. So how low would this go? Well, that's anybody's guess. I don't think they're going to go much more lower. I'm not expecting it to go much more lower. But let's see. Let's go back to the four hour, the one hour. And you can take the trade and see how low it goes. Euro New Zealand. Okay, take that off. We're buying it there to, for the breakout. It didn't break out immediately. We'll wait for another buy setup. And I don't think we have another buy setup as yet. We'll have to wait for it to break out and I'll make a flag. So you'd have to wait for this to break out, make a flag, and then go for the buy. Because this is a buy you don't want to miss. On the weekly, this is what you have. I've shown you guys this pattern already. We were expecting this to be equal to this. See? Slightly shorter like that. If you bring it across there, well, they didn't exactly get to that level. See? It's short, so you can still make an argument for this to probably break the top and come back here and then go, or just break the top and take off like this. This is the move up we're looking for because we're looking at this as a running flat with a big correction in the middle here and another correction in the middle here. So if you can either look at all of this as a big correction something like this and one two three and this goes up now so we have an impulse very sharp impulse up and we're getting a flat at the top there perfect that's our buy setup actually some of my traders got it earlier if not we'll wait to see what happens here because this can come back right this could still consolidate here a while more and then go but if it breaks out and make a flag, we're definitely in that trade. Here again, downside, probably some more, I don't know, not much more. I don't think it's big time downside because we're still in this, you know, bigger flat looking pattern. So I don't think this one is gonna fall really, really deep, but if you take the trade, just manage it. Do we have another sell set up there? Not really. Wait for a correction like this. If it turns out something like this, yep, you can go for the sell. Hong Oz, we're going sideways before we drop, right? See the impulse? This is a sideways move. I'm 
waiting for this to break the top. I think we will break the top now, maybe today. Take this off. This would probably just go break the top and then look for the drop to this level and then maybe the breakout. Because you can make an argument that that would be all the correction. So once it breaks the top, we're looking for a sell setup. Any sell setup we get will take the trade. Pound New Zealand, probably the same here. Go break the top and then we'll see if we get a sell setup. Can you buy it to break the top? Yeah, you can, you can go with that trade. There is a flat here. Break that top. I don't know how far they're gonna go after they break the top, but be careful because it can come right back down, All right? So the buy here is not very long term, but if we consider that Euro New Zealand is taking off, this might not be a bad buy. Punkat, are going sideways. We want to see sideways here and then the upside on this. Well, this didn't drop us yet. We were expecting that to drop a little. It didn't, so you're still in the sideways here. So you want this to come here, go back up, come back down, and then go. We're looking at this possibility. So once it comes there, you go for the buy. You'll close the trade, it come back down, you go for the buy. Can we sell it to the downside? I don't think it's a great idea, especially when it's going sideways like that. There's not good sell setup. Pound Swiss came down. We're looking for this one to make a running flat here. This to make a running flat there. Now, now there's a good chance you should go back up there, complete this flat, and then drop. Right? That's the idea. If you're making a big flat there. That is how we expect it to behave, right? Now, the question is, well, what if this in here was a contracting flat? What if this was a contracting flat? Then you have one, two, three, and this could totally drop. Well, let's see if we have that set up happening. We sold that, so consider it that a you know, break-even trade because it, it took a long time to go. So take that off. What I would look for here is a possible flag or something. Make a flag or so here and then go for the sell. Because it could stop here and go right back up. So if you don't get a flag, you don't want to jump into the trade now. If you're already in the trade and you're still with the trade, put it to break even or put it into positive. Right? Move your stops to positive and let's see what happens there. It could make a new high or they could drop to depending on which one we get here. We get a flag, we sell. It starts to go back up, we can look for a buy setup. Pang Yen, we sold this on Friday. That was, this was an easy one. This wasn't a difficult one. It's breaking out, so I think we can drop some more, literally. By the way, see it breaking the line and then come back. The line is irrelevant in this case. You're not really looking for that line. You're just trying to get an indication as to which pattern we're in and what it's doing. Any flag here is a sell setup. Actually, there was a sell setup already this morning. I don't know if anybody took that trade, selling it from here. So that was Friday's sell. This was today's sell. Let it go down, make another flag, go for the sell. Aussie yen. It's coming down already. So we're looking at the Aussie yen, the big picture, right? And in the big picture, this is likely going to go back up because you've got to move down, a move up, and a move down. Now, it can come and break the low, which would be an expanding flat. We're not really looking for an expanding flat, but that is possible. So now that this has broken out of this and it's coming back down, if we make an assumption that that was a one, two, three, and this is coming down, wait for a flag here. Wait for something like this. You get a flag, a correction, or something like that you can sell. We don't have either. We don't have anything here. No flag, no correction. So let us make a flag and then look for the sell. Not a small one like these. Those small ones are over. You want a bigger one, right? A bigger correction, and then we look for the sell set. We test the low and then upside. What if this decide to go back up? I don't see the pattern for it, but we also don't have any buy setup. So when that happens, if and when, if and when that happens, we'll come back to it. Aussie cat. 
same here you're consolidating and right now it's a little downside see this here is a little downside but be careful of the sell it could still be part of a bigger correction you take the sell and you move your stops it will drop at least one more aussie swiss that's a sell setup we got there it's going good so far that was a sell from friday by the way if you saw that if not wait for another flag aussie new zealand let it break the top first, then look for the sell. So I'm expecting this to go break the top. And then you can look for a sell swing. Canadian. I think this one is a little strange because we, we might have to go with a contracting flat here. It's not really making a lot of sense. So or we go with this one as an expanding flat and this becomes something of its own, which is not so. So let's wait because it's coming down. That was a sell setup. And the reason we sell it was that if it, if it turns out it is actually a contracting flat, it's gonna drop. Any flag you get to sell, any flag. What if this one is to make a sharper spike back to like this? We'll look at this as the big flat drop and then we'll go back with the expanding flat there. So right now it's a sell setup regardless of what. Susan, look for the sell setup also. It's coming down, we want it to come down some more. We might still be in the sideways here. If you put all of this together, right? You might still be in some kind of a more complex sideways pattern. Let's take this out. Okay. Sideways complex pattern. What that means, that means that if that is the case, this could go back up here come back down, go back up maybe a few more times and then drop. But every one of these are possibilities that they could drop. So what you would do here is you wait for cell setups, which is what we're doing. Some of us already might be in the cell. You can't sell it to the bottom here. That's a very, very bad idea. Wait for it to break out and wait for it to make a correction here and then you start to sell. Because selling at the bottom of a structure like that is a bad idea to go right back up. New Zealand yen, that was a sell. All the yen pairs we had sell setups in them, the, the Pong yen, the New Zealand yen, the Euro yen, you notice they were all going down. So those were good. This was a good sell setup. Every, if you get another flag here, you sell again. I think this one is easy. It's still going down. New Zealand, Swiss. It broke the top. I don't think we got the cell set up. Right? We were expecting once it break the top, look for a cell. I don't see any line, so it means we didn't put anything. And let this pull back here, make a flat, and go for the cell. It's downside, so you go for the cell. Swiss, cat Swiss. It's a cell setup, but this cell here wasn't really the cell we're looking for. We're looking to when it break that level, make a flag. Right, because it came down really fast. So you'd want it. There was a running flat here, if you look at the possibility. A running flat in there. So this, wait for any flag here and start selling. I'll take this off, because if we sold that, you'll take it up already. I'll put it to break. New Zealand CAD. You're getting a cell setup forming here. Wait for it and sell. Okay, so you broke the top. This should come back slightly here, make a running flat, and then up. So go for the buy. Once it come back, put an entry for the buy. So uh, I think maybe we, 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 we there were, what I was thinking today is to do two separate webinars because they're very, very long. So I'll stop the Forex webinar here if you manage to watch it to the end. We'll come back and we'll record the cryptos and the stocks and the indexes indices in a separate webinar, right? So thank you guys. Don't, don't forget to go follow me in the share vision and you will get a lot of updates this week there. I'll see you. So I'll stop this one and we will re record the second part of it. Thank you. Bye-bye.